Mm. One more psychology question, then I want to bring in Mark Garagos, who's handled a lot of these cases. Darcy, so what does it mean, doctor, that we have such a fascination? Dusty and I have been fighting about this story for weeks, okay? She would be like, here's another case, here's another case. And I would say, yeah, but it's just because they're sensational, because we're more interested when it's a female teacher and a male student, not because it's more of a problem. Why do we focus on the women cases more? So this is going to be speculation because we actually don't have enough research on this and we absolutely call for research papers. We need to study this. This is a real problem. What we know is that, I mean, socially, we socialize boys and men to feel sexually liberated and free and to make decisions that they want to based on that. And it's very likely that when this happens to girls, they're less inclined to run to the media or have it leak to the media. Um, these are minors. So unless the, the, mm -hmm. the victims themselves are reporting it, I, my, I believe it's not going to be out in the open or available for public discord. And with boys, it, it's almost as if we socialize them to believe that this is almost a notch in their belt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were talking about this last night, and I think she's making a lot of good points. I mean, this is one of those stories that wound up being worth doing, not because of what it means, but because of what we're making it mean. Now, Councilor Garagos, uh, you've handled a number of these cases. Um, Female teacher uh, abusing a male student versus a male teacher uh, abusing a female student, different types of sentences? Let me just tell you what ends up happening, and I've had this on countless occasions. When I'm defending the female who's accused of this, I just continue the case long enough for the male to grow up. Because as soon as you call that male to the stand, and I remember one case where he was six foot three, 210 pounds, because it had been two years since the incident. Every single male on that jury looked at me. I looked at them. They gave me a misdemeanor, and we went on our way. There's uh, the, 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 your guest was right. We do socialize that this is a notch in the belt. Clearly, jurors, at least of my vintage, think to themselves, are you kidding me? This is what we all fantasized about. This is hardly a crime. And... Mind you, I've had female prosecutors who recognize that and end up giving the cases away, especially when it's a female defendant. Mm. You know, Darcy, I, I see that it makes you a little uncomfortable when we talk about this because you know that it can be damaging to these boys uh, in a way that we're not realizing. And again, when we were talking about this, I said, look, you know, well, Christina and I are blessed with daughters and a son, right? If I found out that this happened to one of my daughters, I would absolutely go after the guy. There's no question about it. I do not feel instinctively that same sense of rage if I thought about it being my 17-year-old boy. But that's because of me, not because of the reality of what happens to the victim. Right, Darcy? That's right. And lucky for you, I would make you have a problem with it because that is absolutely unacceptable. 17 years old, he can't vote. You know, what we need to remember is that none of the brains are developed. They're not fully developed. People can't, teenagers cannot contemplate the consequences of their actions. So they can be enjoying a situation and not understanding in much the same way that they do with drugs and alcohol and partying. They can enjoy a moment or an experience and not understand the long-term potential impact that it's going to have on them. And that is the problem. That's why, yeah, these, the, that's why uh, these, these guard poles, these guardrails are in place. What do you got, Gary? Yeah, but they're, they're the problem... The problem with that is, is I, you can make that same argument and extend it that males don't fully develop until they're 25. And therefore, what are you going to do? Give them a, a say that you're going to excuse it all the way to their 25? It isn't the same. It just isn't the same in our society. And we're not at a point now where you can say that it is the same thing. Even though you talk about the harm, I have seen, I've seen it up close. I've talked to the people on both sides of this. I've defended the males. I've defended the females. It's not the same situation. Well, what you're well, saying is perception perceived. is reality. Yeah, yeah, that's what he said. Well, I'm just and telling look, you from that a practitioner's you point may. of view. From a practitioner's well, point of view, I'm going to tell you. 
I'm going to Go tell ahead, you, it's a very, there's a, the, the problem you have, and the reason is the reality. A prosecutor, Aaron Berger will tell you, he has to make a decision. Is this a yeah. case I can reasonably get a beyond a reasonable doubt a guilty conviction? You're not going to find that when it's a 17-year-old strapping young man um, who's supposedly the alleged victim of some 20-something uh, teacher. It just isn't going to happen. It Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.